Hey you crafty builders, welcome back to the Craftbox SMP where we're building a giant floating island in Minecraft. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait for me. Thank you. I have a great episode lined up where we're going to build the first building on this floating island and build a mob farm inside the island right under our feet. I hope you're excited to see this floating island come to life. Before we get started though, it'd mean the world to me if you could poke that like button before it pokes you, subscribe and ring the bell to alert all those Minecraft villagers. Now we've got that out of the way, let me show you a couple of clips from the other day when we got an achievement. Oh, you know what, I'm just going to go for it and we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Ooh, I made it! Yes! <laughs> Did you get your achievement? I, I think I might have already got the achievement before, you know. <laughs> but I made it. I think it's negative 64 or something like that. Okay, so it's not within four. Oh, what is it? Oh no, it's negative 60. I think you have to just go down just a few more blocks. And yeah, negative 60 should be good. Okay, here we go. You're okay, Rose. Hmm? Said you're okay. oh. <laughs> oh no! Didn't quite get to it. Down we go. I placed the water though. Oh no, I didn't. Uh, someone got smart. Someone got smart. Here, here, push, push me up here, and I'll, I'll try and get over that way as quickly as possible. No! Oh, sh oh no! 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 <laughs> Hey, oh. there we go. Yeah, it got was it. Water bucket. It was the water bucket. Okay, can I please not get hit off the edge? Oh, that's so much more exciting though. <laughs> trying to trying to navigate that and get it in the right place. Get down that one one block hole. Right. I hope you enjoyed that. Now it's time to get building that first house on this floating island. What I'm thinking is to build a house on the corner of the floating island just over here. So it kind of looks like it's hanging over the edge for for dear life. And also over here, we could build a small pond that the water will be flowing off the edge, which would be a great way to be able to get back up if we don't have an elytra, for some reason unknown. As this is going to be the cute farm area, we'll put a farm up here where we can grow vegetables and bits and pieces. So it looks all peaceful, even though the, the house is teetering on the edge of falling off the, uh, falling off the island. So that, I think, will be pretty fun. So what I'm going to do is do a bit of landscaping around here. Uh, possibly build up a bit more because I want the house to be sitting a little bit higher up on this edge bit so it's not so low down compared to the rest of the island and also to give it a bit more space above the above the pond here which I think would be pretty cool maybe a little path coming up here as well we need a path a path is always a good idea very very excited to see how how this turns out especially when we start doing the city over here so I've done a bit of terraforming and I've decided we're going to put this bridge in and we hate rain Ugh. So I've done a bit of terraforming now and we've got the base for where the house is going to go on this this first part here. And I'm thinking it'll be cute if we have a little bridge coming across here and then down there will be like a small shallow pond which will lead into a slightly deeper pond over here which will also then go off the edge so we can get that flowing water coming out. So that, sh that should be pretty cool. Uh, so the next job is to add the water in I think. Now we've got the flowing water. Though, I don't know where it's going to land, which could, couldn't end up being an issue. It probably needs to be a little bit thinner. So, let's make the water stream a tiny bit thinner, shall we? That looks much better. Where does it end up, though? That's the question. Down there and in there. That, that guy ain't going to be too happy, is he? <laughs> Right, we'll leave that for the time being, and when we get down here, we can start sorting this out, because it is still very dark down here. So I don't intend on keeping the bridge as dirt either. I think a wooden bridge might look a lot better. I know it looks quite plain right now, but when we get the bone meal in and all the other little accents and details, this, this little area here is going to look pretty darn cute. So first things first, let's take a look at this bridge. So I'm going to use dark oak slabs and spruce trapdoors to give it a little bit more texture as well. All right, so <laughs> let's let's see how this works out. 
But I think that's a good start, and it's got kind of a small arch with these bits coming down on either side. So I think once we get the house in here, it'll, it'll start to look a little bit more together than it is. There are often it's pasted everywhere. Maybe also if we use some path blocks as well, just here and there to smooth the texture in. Yeah, something like that. Now, build a structure in the middle of this. I'm going to use dark oak for the accents around the house, and then <laughs> there's going to be a little bit of a mushroom feel to this, I think. This is the start of the little mushroom house that's hanging on the edge. I think it'd look good if we just strip not all of them, but a few of these here to give the outside a little more texture. Yeah, if we do that around the others. And inside, I've not done the interior yet, so bear with me, but we've got a little, little rug so far and some windows we can see out. And there is also an upstairs with a door to the next area, but let's just have a quick look at this one because this is going to be the little terrace. Possibly we'll put some plants out here, bring in a little bit more colour. Uh, as again, it still looks a bit plain. And then out of this door is the next room that isn't here anymore because let, let's, uh, well, <laughs> it's fallen off the edge of the cliff, uh, off, off the floating mountain when it was ripped out of the ground. So if we just pull away here, you can see there's some remnants left of the the old building here that used to be in there. And it kind of looks like it's just been cut off. It's probably fallen away down there. But I think this is this is turning out quite well so far. Uh, it does still look a bit blocky. It needs a little bit more texture, uh, some flowers possibly, and I don't know, some, something to bring these windows out a little bit more, I think. But I think we, we're getting there. With a little bit more tidying up, th this is going to be a pretty cool little build. I think it might also be cool if we stick some mushrooms growing outside here. All in all, I think this is this is a good start for this little house. So let's, let's get a little bit more done and see how it turns out. So there we go. We have uh, a lot more detail now. So I think it looks a lot better. I really like the glow lichen I've used on the side here to give the roof and walls a lot more texture. So I think it looks pretty. And I believe we have, I did see a little friend. Yes. Yes, we've got a little little build destroyer there, uh, which you're going to keep away from. I'm sure he'll despawn very soon. Uh, yeah, and I've got a little azalea tree in here as well, and I've put in some moss, so I thought that was kind of cute, so I'd, I'd left that there. And yeah, we've got a little mushroom in as well. Do, do need to do this eventually. But now all we need to do is a bit of interior inside it, and it's pretty much... Oh, no, 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 get away, get away, get away. Do not destroy this. We've just done this. You almost had me then. Anyway, yeah, I think it's quite cute. Just need to get inside and yeah, let, let's let's fill this out. <laughs> It'll look great. Now the interior is done, or pretty much anyway. I've, I've kept it nice and simple because we probably won't be going in here too often, so it'll just be seen from outside. So you can see I've put some plants here and there and a little bed. Plus, someone, when I was streaming on TikTok the other day, gave me this idea of using looms. I'm sure this is an old idea, uh, but using looms backwards to make it look like empty bookshelves, which I think is really quite cute. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, we've done that. And, yeah, these weird-looking lights on chains I thought were quite interesting. And a good old couple of the classic seats on top of the, on top of the rug here. So, all in all, I think we can call this build pretty much done except for maybe, maybe we'll add, add to it here and there. And hey, if any of you guys have got any good good ideas, good suggestions to make it a lot better, do let me know down in the comments. I read every single one, I do promise. And yeah, I, I take a lot of inspiration from what you guys say. So I really do appreciate the, the comments that you leave. But now we've done that, we can get working on the mob farm, which I'm a little bit terrified about, in, in all honesty. I normally die a few times when we're making these things. So this is where we're gonna build the mob farm underneath the floor of the island, in between it all, because it is a massive space. So we can we can definitely get a decently sized mob farm in here. I'm probably just gonna go for the classic kind of standard passive, passive one where they fall down and die for the time being, just because it will be 
a lot easier than having redstone and, and <laughs> a lot more lag friendly as well for the server. Uh, as I believe there are already a few few mob farms around, but I, I, I need the bones, so I, I'm going to have to do something about it. I mean, rockets are cheap enough, but the <laughs> bones is where I'm struggling at the moment for bone meal. I may well, though, put a water column up so all the mob drops that come in get flipped out and go up, up here and maybe get collected in a storage system up here or, or something like that so I don't have to keep coming down to the bottom every time when I, <laughs> I need to go and collect stuff from it. So let's get cracking. So here we go, guys. We've done it. We've we've built we've built a mob farm. Yeah, look at that ugly mess there. Thank thank goodness. Thank goodness it is stuck inside here, so we don't have to look at it. It 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 ain't pretty. It isn't pretty at all, is it? But if we go down here, we can see we've already collected some mob drops. And if we wait, there we go. So they, they just randomly fall over there. Uh, it's just a little passive mob farm. It, it'll, it'll do the job. It'll do the job for now. Um, so yeah, guys, if you've enjoyed this episode, uh, leave a like, subscribe, all that lovely stuff. It's been great having you. See ya.